Hey everybody, welcome. It's Timmy here with Chalk Couture. Great to have you here this beautiful Saturday morning. I actually thought I was going live about five minutes ago and realized I never hit the record button. So here we are, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. If you're just joining in for the first time, I am so excited that you're here. If you've watched me before, you are in for a treat regardless because we have some beautiful uh, new surfaces, one of which I'm gonna share with you today, uh, our reclaimed wood drawer front, um, which when you see it, you're just gonna be amazed at how gorgeous it is. And if you're a lover of all things vintage like I am, I think you're really gonna see lots of ways that you can use this great surface. So I'm really excited to share all of that with you. So we'll just make sure that everybody has been able to hop on here. I'm gonna check out uh, my page, make sure things are looking good. While I do that, I'd love it if you'd come on in and say hi and let me know where you are listening in from. I always love to see where everybody is coming from. We get folks from all over. And also, while we're uh, waiting to get started, I do also want to share a little bit about um, my Style Innovators group. This uh, group of mine is a community, really, of men and women who just love creating joy out of beautiful spaces. So if that is something that describes you and you wanna get some uh, inspiration and you wanna get some encouragement, my Style Innovators group is where you wanna be. And I would love to have you join. Just go to facebook.com slash groups uh, slash Style Innovators and you will see uh, our request to join. And I would love to have you. Every month I give away, um, we have uh, monthly giveaways for some free products. I just had a huge sale uh, in my Style Innovators group this week. So uh, those are always on uh, the realm of possibility in my group. So if you're loving what you're seeing today, please feel free to join my Style Innovators group. We'd love to have you. Now, let me tell you a little bit about me and uh, what you can expect here today. Um, my name is Timmy, and I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And Chalk Couture, if you've not heard of us before, is a pretty new company, and I'm excited to be involved with them. I've been a Chalk Couture designer for about a year and a half now, and it has been amazing. Um, why has it been amazing? Well, you know, it really provides me with an opportunity to kind of decompress from daily life. You'll see that when we do some chalking here together, how just easy and fun and really relaxing it is. So I love to have that opportunity to just find something that um, really just calms me and um, gives me an opportunity really to connect with people on a whole different level. One of the things I quickly found when I started doing a chalk couture and sharing it with others was how much I really loved helping women find the confidence and the creativity that they didn't even know they had um, once they started using our products. So if uh, that sounds like uh, something that you can relate to, then I'm glad you're here because really uh, being a designer for me is a whole lot more than showing you beautiful products that you can use, but it's also about really helping you to really find something that you can feel really good about about yourself. So I hope that you enjoy today's uh, project that we're gonna be doing and let me give you a quick little preview on what it is. If you've seen my picture that I was posting today, what you know is we're going to be using um, a reclaimed wood uh, drawer front surface. This is one of our brand new surfaces that came out uh, in my catalog and Chalk Couture, and you can see my website there at the bottom, chalkcouture.com slash Timmy. And you can find um, any of these products that I'm showing you today right on my website. So if you want to pick up any of these, that's the place to do it. You can go right there and grab them and start making these things yourself in your own home. And I'm going to show you how. So Gail, welcome. It's great to have you. I hope that you had a wonderful 4th of July. I hope all of you really enjoyed some time, I hope, with family and friends. It's one of the best things about the holidays, right, is you get an opportunity to kind of connect with people you haven't seen in a while. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of um, connecting with a few of my customers. Uh, we got together, um, delivered some of their orders, and just chatted a little bit about their day. That just totally makes it really a fun uh, time for me. So 
I am going to make sure that you can see me here a little bit and I'm gonna change our view. So not only can you see our project now, but you'll also see me. You know what, one thing I'm gonna do, let me, uh, let me do one thing here. My, my picture here is a little big, so let's see if we can swap that out so that you can see the whole project really well. All right. Oh, that's better, I think. Okay, there we go. So now I'm not quite so large, but you can still see me. I'm wondering if this light here is problematic. It might be. So if it's bothering you, you just let me know. But I want to make sure that you can see the project because that's what this is all about, right? Oh, by the way, I bought these cute little farmhouse beads yesterday and they were on sale. And of course, I had my initials, so I had to buy them. <laughs> uh, great sales going on right now, you know, because it's the end of the season. So if you hit your craft store um, and you're looking for some embellishments, that's um, this is the time to go. There's just a lot of great stuff. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what we're using today. Um, so this, by the way, is a little wreath that we're gonna use in place of the letter O. But of course, if you wanted to use the letter O, you could. But my vision is this. I want to have the H, M, and the E to create the word home. And then I am going to use a wreath here that I can change out seasonally. So um, I actually found this cute little wood cut out heart that I thought would be kind of fun to hang on the wreath. So this would be fun for um, the holidays, you know, July 4th or even Labor Day, Memorial Day, of course. Um, but when um, I wanna change it out for another season, I can just add a different embellishment or put a different wreath on. So this I think is gonna be great on my uh, in my living room and I'm gonna be so excited to be able to kind of change it out. So so I'm gonna put this aside here for a minute. I wanna tell you a little bit about these, um, this reclaimed wood surface and prep it a little before we use it. And uh, right before I came on, I dropped some water on it cause I was being silly. Um, but this is a chalk couture surface. So if I flip it over, indeed you can see we've got chalk couture logo here on the back. So this is primarily um, a one-time use surface, means once we chalk on it, um, we're not gonna be able to erase it like we can with our chalkboard. So this is a permanent surface. Um, it is made out of really heavy duty wood. It's six inches by 18 inches long. Um, and we're gonna put three letters on it today, but I have seen it fit up to five. Uh, we're using our monogram letters uh, for the uh, lettering on here. And I'll talk to you about those silk screen transfers in just a minute. Now, when you get um, our surfaces, you will get instructions about what you need to do, if anything, to prep our surfaces. And this one in particular uh, suggested that we wax it before we use it. And so I have uh, some uh, finishing wax here. Uh, this is something you can get at your hardware store and I just am going to put a light coating of wax on the area that we're going to chalk and some people will ask well what's the need why do I need to wax my surface and which surfaces do I need to wax well first and foremost I will tell you if you're using one of our surfaces one of the surfaces that come from chalk couture that we provide we will tell you if it needs to be waxed and this is indeed one that um, we recommend that you wax before you use. And the reason for it is because we want to make sure that when you put your silk screen transfer on here, that it's gonna lift up easily without stretching um, that transfer. And the reason for that is, is that our transfers, as I mentioned, are silk screen and they are reusable. And we wanna make sure that you can get as much use out of them as possible. And so we wanna kinda of give you some tips to make sure that um, you can do that. And one of the things that you can do is make sure that you don't stretch that transfer. So if we're using um, a wood surface like this or you're using um, it on another surface that maybe has um, some uh, bumps or ridges to it, um, it's a great idea to wax it first. But generally speaking, if it is a chalk couture surface you're using, we will tell you on the package whether or not it needs to be waxed. Now, some people ask how long do I need to wait before I can use it? Per, uh, personally, I have found that I wax and use it almost immediately. I don't need to wait a whole lot of time. 
Um, I also will tell you, if you don't need a big container of wax like this, um, Chalk Couture does sell small wax sticks that you can absolutely use for um, a one project, absolutely. Okay, so um, we've got our letters, and you'll notice that I just put the uh, letter on the back so I know that this is the back, and that also uh, this is the transfer sheet that's going to go back on. Good morning, Susan. Nice to have you here. So um, our silk screen transfers have an adhesive back, and that means that when we put it down on our surface, it's gonna stay put. It's gonna stick where you want it to go. Now, one of the things that we recommend, and you'll hear me talk about, is that before you actually use the, the transfer, you want to actually take a minute and fuzz that transfer. And you're probably thinking, why am I fuzzing a transfer? You just said it was sticky. Why do I want to reduce the stickiness? Well, kind of the same reason that we talked about before, which is that you want to make sure that you get as much use as possible out of your transfer. So we want to make sure that it isn't so sticky that it'll be hard to pull up from your surface. So I have a fuzzing cloth over here, and I'm just gonna take that and lay it down on my fuzzing cloth. And this could be any terry cloth surface that you have, um, towel or whatever. You can even use your shirt or pair of jeans, it's fine. Uh, what you're doing is you're just reducing the stickiness just a tad so that when you go to pull this up off of your board, it's going to lift up really nice and easily. So I'm going to put my H down. Now, I'm going to also get my M and my E fuzzed because I want to position them and make sure that they are where I want them to be. Now you can reposition them before you chalk, so don't get too worried if you put it down and it's not exactly where you wanted it to be. Just lift it up and move it over. And when I fuzz, I usually just fuzz eh, one or two times. Doesn't really need too much. And you can see that it'll just reduce the stickiness just a tad. And I'm gonna use the edge of the screen here to kind of line things up. And I might need to move this H here because I didn't really do that when I put this one down. So I'm just gonna use the edge of the H here to line things up. Now it's gonna mean my letters are a little bit higher up, but I think I'm okay with that. I think I'd rather know that these are lined up that way than um, have them uneven. Now we do have some great placement tape that you can use should you prefer. And it's certainly okay that I'm gonna overlap these a tad. I'm really right now just kind of checking placement. And my E is about an inch and so is my H. So they're ending in about the same spot, so that's good. And then my wreath is gonna fit in here pretty well, so I think that's good. Now when I go to do the M, this E is overlapping here a little, so we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of lift this up and we'll pull off the M before we go and do the E. But I think these are all pretty well lined up. Now these monogram uh, letters come in every letter of the alphabet, so you can uh, pick any letter combination you want and create your own sign. Uh, but this, I think, is gonna be perfect for this home sign. I'm just loving it. Now I'm gonna to choose to use our black chalk paste. Good morning, Cindy, nice to have you. Um, and for those of you who are just watching or seeing this for the first time, our chalk paste is paste, it's not paint. I know a lot of people think, oh, that's paint. I know all about chalk paint. Well, if you're new to Chalk Couture or never heard of Chalk Couture before, what we have is this beautiful chalk paste that's nice and silky smooth and it goes on to your project wet, but then it dries hard. So uh, it is basically permanent um, unless you want to wash it off, like if you're using a chalkboard. So uh, as I said today, we are not using a chalkboard, we're using this reclaimed wood drawer front. So uh, this is not going to come off of our surface. But as you can see, you just take your squeegee, dip it into your paste container, and just spread the chalk paste over the surface of the screen. That's all it takes. It's so easy, and wait till you see the results when we pull it up. 
how crisp and smooth this is. And don't need a whole lot of chalk paste. As a matter of fact, a lot of it's gonna go right back into the jar. And then we are simply going to pull back and reveal the design. See how beautiful that is coming just right off of our board? And that's because we just took a minute to give that a little light waxing. So this is still wet. We're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry. And I am, as I said, gonna move this E a little bit just so that I can get to the M without it overlapping. So you can see just how fast this project is gonna go. It's so sweet. And that is it. So let me ask you, as you're watching, as you're thinking about this reclaimed drawer front surface, are you loving it as much as I am? Do you think it'll be a great addition to your home? What uh, word would you use? Would you use home or would you use a different word? This would be super cute too, I think, for a Halloween. I know I have Susan on and she is a Halloween lover. Don't you think this would be really cute with the word boo? or fall would be gorgeous. Look at that. Of course, with my short name, I could even make a Timmy sign. <laughs> Cindy, we could make a Cindy sign. We could make a Susan sign. I think, oh my goodness, we could make a Gail sign. Look, we all have nice short names. Fun, fun. Hey, good morning, Susan Tapley. Susan Tapley is the woman who introduced me to Chalk Couture. I am ever grateful for her. Now notice I'm just gonna hold this up just so that I don't lay it back over the area that is still wet. And the green area is not the screen, so it's nothing we have to worry about. Uh, we're not chalking that area, so it's certainly fine. If I put my finger there, it's not gonna get in the way. Oh, this is such an incredible month. If you have not yet had a chance to hop over to my website, and see all the beautiful new designs and surfaces that Chalk Couture released uh, on July 2nd. You definitely wanna go over and take a peek. It is also just a wonderful time to think about starting your own Chalk Couture business. If you've been wondering what it's all about and if it's a right fit for you, I would be happy to talk with you and share a little bit about um, what, how I run my business and the various ways in which you could run a chalk couture business. Now, probably many of you know, this is um, kind of a side uh, job for me. I have a full-time job that I work during the day. And as I said, this is my relaxation time. This is my time to be able to connect with uh, like-minded women who love uh, creating beautiful things, right? And it also gives me an opportunity to earn some extra income for my family so we can do some of the things that we really like to do, like travel. Um, you know, if you watch me, that I'm often on the road doing some little travel here and there. Now notice I did get a little piece. No, I think that's actually just part of the wood. I thought maybe I got a little of my finger on there, but I think I'm good. And that was it, baby. That was all. That's all it took to create this beautiful sign. Now, of course, we want to add a little extra love to this, and that's where this gorgeous wreath is going to come in. And I'm going to give that one more minute to dry before we do that. Um, and you know what? This is probably a great time while this is drying to give you a little quick tutorial about washing up your transfers so that you can reuse them. So let me give that a minute to dry. It takes about three or four minutes, right? <laughs> Yes, Steve, this is definitely the peel and reveal time. It's the part that, right, we all love to show the most is just how fun and gorgeous it is to reveal those designs. I know, where is it gonna go is the question. I think that we need to find a place, maybe it's time to replace some of the pictures we have uh, in our entryway. Maybe I'm gonna put it right there or maybe right on my, um, credenza that I have right inside the door. I think it's time actually, I have all my July 4th decor there, so maybe it's time to change it up a tad. What do you think, Steve? We'll have to find out. Um, so one of the things that we have, which I think is MIA in my office at the moment, 
um, are some beautiful uh, board erasers. They do a great job with erasing not only the chalkboard surfaces, but also cleaning up your transfers in water. Uh, I don't seem to have one handy at the moment. Black makes a big, big mess. I'll tell you that right now. As you can see, my water is pretty full. But all you need to do is just wipe off these transfers, and I am having them sticky side up here in my water bath. And that's all that's in here is water. So you can see, we are just cleaning these right up, just wiping them clean. I'm making a big old mess because of this little water bath is probably a little small for my transfers, but that's it. So they come out of the water and then you can just place them on a towel to let them dry. If you're in a hurry and you want to reuse these, little quick trick, just grab a piece of dry paper towel and quickly swipe the water off of the surface. And that's it. It is ready to reuse. And all we need to do is put them right back on those backer sheets that I saved. So remember I said I put the letter of what it was on the back and that's so I know this one is where the letter E goes. And I also know that this is the back side. And then I want to put the transfer back on the glossy side of the transfer sheet. And this is what's going to protect it when it's now not in use. So we can use these transfers about 8 to 10 times. So super, super easy, right? That's it. It's ready to reuse. I can put it back in the cellophane wrapper or uh, store it in any other way that you'd like. And that's it. So we just clean each of them like that and it's super fast and super quick. So uh, this is all water soluble and everything dries uh, off and cleans off really quickly and easily. So I'm going to put my water bath over to the side here. I dropped a little bit of water here on my area so let's clean that up and let's see if our sign is ready and dry and you can actually start to see that it gets dry because it gets kind of uh, matte color so here we go easy simple now I wanted to show you this because all this is was garland that I got at the craft store and I could make this any size I want so if this wreath feels a little bit too big for you and you want to make it smaller you can create smaller ones really really easily just twirl it around and then cut it and loop it around so really easy you can find this at your craft store super cute and it actually already had a little burlap ribbon here to tie, which I think I like and I might leave. But I also think it might be fun to hang it with a ribbon. And I can just glue this ribbon here to the back of my, and since yeah, I can kind of squish this out a little and I can glue it right to the back of my board. And to finish it off, I can just add this little guy and then replace him when the season ends. So that's it, that's all it took. Wasn't this a super fun and easy project? And of course, we gotta add in our little wood beads, right? Gotta have some farmhouse beads to finish off our gorgeous little design. So you can coordinate your ribbon with your uh, embellishments. You can uh, change the color of your letters and coordinate with your home. You can do whatever you'd like. So we have so many awesome chalk paste colors that you can use. And uh, I hope you found this project to be fun. I know I love gingham too, right? I know buffalo check and gingham, totally my favorite. Um, I love adding that little extra uh, little pizzazz. But super easy project, really easy to do. Um, I will have some information on my website um, so that you can find these projects um, and these um, transfers. So if you want to be able to recreate this yourself, you can. And if you have any questions, certainly feel free to reach out to me anytime. I'd be happy to answer them. Oh, I just uh, tried to put in my uh, website here and I think I 
forgot a www, so I will try to fix that uh, before we end. But in the meantime, feel free to check out um, the awesome, oh, the star in place of the wreath, huh? Yeah, that would be cute too, absolutely. That would look super cute. What do you think? I like that too. I almost like it better. Susan, great idea. Super cute. What do you think, guys? Wreath or heart? And this would also be something we could use. Maybe not this rhythm, a ribbon, a ribbon, but a different ribbon so that we don't have to tack it to our board. We could use that to tie. I think a patriotic ribbon would look cuter, which I do have a few of those. But cute idea. Great idea. Susan, you're the bomb. <laughs> All right, my friends. I hope you had fun watching. It was great to have you here. Let's see if I can fix that. Uh, there we go. And I will be sending along some links here so that you can find um, these awesome project ideas on my website and grab these products. I think you're really going to love this surface as I do. So in the meantime, everybody, have a wonderful Saturday. It was a pleasure to spend time with you again this morning, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.